Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out this new microphone by Tronmax and it's called the Tronmax Madrill Zero Plus. The Plus version in the name is an upgrade from the previous version. The previous version is pretty much the same thing as this, but the only difference is the sample rate and bit rate is lower on the old one and higher on this new version here. And this microphone does run for $70 and the previous version runs for $65. So it's only a $5 difference. So I would recommend just paying that extra five bucks and getting the better version of the microphone here. So to kick things off, let's check out what was included in the box. And the box is gonna have this nice, beautiful retail design. And in the box, what you're gonna get is the microphone, which has the mount attached onto it, a braided USB-A to USB-C cable, which is angled at the USB-C part, which is gonna make it fit under the microphone mount easily. A few stickers, if you wanna attach them to your computer or maybe your water bottle and a quick start guide which will show you some of the basic features on how to get the mic set up and rolling. Now as far as the design of this microphone goes it is going to come in this all black color which is a matte black finish and the materials of the microphone are going to be made pretty much of three different materials. The entire microphone is made fully of plastic. The microphone mount is made practically fully of metal minus the bottom of the microphone mount which is made fully of rubber which is gonna help prevent the mic from sliding around on your desk when in use. In terms of adjustability, the microphone does adjust up and down, and the way you can adjust it is simply by moving the microphone while it's on the microphone mount. The microphone can be tightened and loosened, that way it will be in a permanent fixed position, or you can have it a little bit loosened, that way you can adjust the microphone depending on the position at which you're speaking into the microphone. This microphone is compatible with boom arm mounts, which is gonna be pretty nice if you wanna get the microphone really up close to your face. And the way you can do that is by simply unscrewing the desk mount from the microphone and then screwing it into a boom arm mount. Now let's get into the functionality of how this microphone actually works. So you're gonna notice that there are two knobs on the microphone and the small knob here adjusts the volume of your computer. So if you have headphones plugged in and you adjust the small knob, it's gonna be pretty much like adjusting the volume on your computer. Now if we take a look at the large knob, this thing does quite a few things even though it rotates only left and right. And what it does is if you rotate it to the right, you get a green light, which means you're in omnidirectional recording mode, which means you can speak into any part of the microphone from the front, the sides, the back, and you're gonna get the same level of volume being brought into the microphone. Now, if you turn the knob to the right, you're gonna notice it goes from a green light to a blue light. And what that means is you've entered a different recording pattern mode, which is the cardioid pattern. With cardioid pattern, you can only speak into the front of the microphone to get the best list, uh, recording experience. If you speak into the back of the microphone with the cardioid pattern, it's not really gonna record from there clearly because it's trying to cancel out all of the volume from the back. And the cardioid pattern is gonna be handy for if you're just solo recording audio, like if you're recording some music or maybe you're recording a YouTube video or streaming, then that's gonna be the pattern you wanna use. Now, if you switch it back over to the right, which is the omnidirectional mode with the green light, that's gonna be audio that records everywhere, which is good for things like podcasting with multiple people. And then the last mode you have with the large knob is in the center. And if you move it to the center, you can see the light turns red. And what that means is the microphone is on mute. Now let's do some microphone audio quality tests for y'all to see what the audio quality sounds like. So the first audio test we're gonna do is with the cardioid pattern, which basically uh, is where we speak into the front of the microphone. So we're gonna move the knob onto the blue version here and Here's what the audio quality sounds like testing one two three Testing one two three and now let's move the microphone knob to the right side and you can see the light turns green and When it turns green we've entered um, the omnidirectional recording pattern which means you can speak into any part of the microphone so I'm gonna speak into the side here and here's what it sounds like. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And if we rotate the microphone backwards, 
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's from the back. And then let's speak into the front. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So as you can tell by the quality of this microphone, it is quite crispy and I can definitely recommend it for people who are getting into YouTube, streaming, podcasting, or maybe even recording music onto your computer. And if you are looking for something in that $70 price mark, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can purchase this thing on Amazon. And if you are looking for something maybe a little bit cheaper, I did a comparison video between a $120 microphone versus a $40 microphone. And I'm gonna leave that link down in the description below if you wanna get something a little more budget friendly than this microphone here. So be sure to check that video out as well. And with all that being said, if you wanna stay in the loop with the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.